I got a tiny dinosaur. Don't panic, Henry Fix. Abigail won't hurt you. She's just a lost tortoise. Tortoise, eh? <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, I, I, I knew that. <laughs> hey! Sorry about your manual, Henry. Oh, not to worry, Dadago. She seems to really like books. Maybe her owner reads to her. Oh, have you asked Alfie Kerr if he recognises her? He's a vet, so he knows every animal in every day. Good thinking, Henry. Let's go to the vet's. At the vet's, Alfie Kerr is having a good long think whether he knows who owns Abigail. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have dozens of animals in here every single week. Well, there can't be that many tortoises in every day, though. Oh, you'd be surprised. I could name eight off the top of my head. There's a Charles, Murray, Glenda, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Alfie? Oh, that's the wall of pets. Every one of my patients and their best human pal. <laughs> it's a, a fun tradition we have here. Maybe we can find Abigail up here. Good idea, Emily. Miss Teach and her dog Tutor have just finished their visit to the vet. Good boy. I just have to drop this book to the library. Then I promise it's home for Dindins. Oh, Abigail, can you stay still for a minute? Look, there's Tommy Stop with Danger and Kitty. That's Professor Bones and Houdini. <gasps> Abigail! But look, there's a bite mark where the owner was. I think we can guess who munched on that. Right, Abigail? Oh, no. She's gone again. Oh, that slippery tortoise. Let's go. I don't see her anywhere. Look. Half tire, half footprints. It must be Abigail. Can't think of anyone else who'd make such silly tracks. Let's go. Abigail's followed Miss Teach all the way to the library. <sighs> there she is. Ooh. Maybe this is where she lives. That would explain why she loves books so much. Maya, are you ready to be a librarian? Yes. Then let's go. We've got work to do. Maya Go and Edward Reed are helping everyone in the library queue to find the books they're looking for. Yar, my whole life I've been desperately searching for a good book about being a sea captain. But it's always escaped me. Any recommendations? Well, Moby Dick is supposed to be good. Finally, after all these years, I've got my hands on you. Thanks. I'm planning a long car journey, and I need to know the way. Where are the maps? Hmm. Would they be in the travel section, Edward? Excellent, Maya. That's exactly where they are. Okay. Follow this shelf all the way down. Then go left. Then it's straight on for two bookcases. If you see the poetry section, you've gone too far. Perfect. Thank you, Maya. Good work, Maya Go. You really know this library. I think you're ready for some more advanced jobs. Edward Reed is teaching Maya Go how to tell people to be quiet in the library without being rude. There's a knack to a good shush, Maya. It must be firm, but always polite. Firm, but polite. Got it. So, you see, it had fallen down the back of the bookcase. I didn't even know it was there. Well then, give it a go, Maya. Remember, firm, but polite. Shush, Dada. No loud talking in the library, please. Oops, sorry, Maya. Well done, Maya. Now, let's get the rest of the library in order. Well, Maya and Edward make a great librarian team. Stamping books, taking photos for new library cards, and restocking the shelves. Now that's a little bit more like the tidy, peaceful library I remember. Great work, Maya Go. You're welcome. It was really great fun being a librarian. So, Maya, what's Betsy Brilliant's adventure about this time? Hmm. I know. Betsy Brilliant and the missing lorry full of magazines. It all began when a lorry full of 
of magazines broke down on the way to every day. Luckily, Betsy Brilliant was close by and swooped in to save the day. I didn't know Betsy Brilliant could fly. Oh, yes! All the best superheroes can fly. I thought her superpower was reading minds. She can do that, too. The lorry of magazines is on its way to every day again. But, oh, no! It bumps into a building! Luckily, here comes Betsy Brilliant again. She simply picks everything up again. Gosh, Betsy is very strong. Yes. No sooner is the lorry back on the road than it skids into the river. Betsy Brilliant has to save it again. Why does the lorry keep on crashing? It's Pantaloon! Why are you such a troublemaker, Pantaloon? Why is he such a troublemaker? Aha! Only Betsy Brilliant knows. Because of her special mind reading power. Reading Pantaloon's mind, Betsy finally understands. Pantaloon isn't really a troublemaker. He's just misunderstood. Oh, one of those guys. Yes, Pantaloon is upset that everyone gets a magazine apart from him. Well, I have a surprise for you, Pantaloon. Because I read your mind, I knew you wanted a magazine, so I ordered you one. Oh, that's nice of Betsy. What magazine is it? It's called... Troublemaker Weekly. Now get back into that lorry and deliver those magazines. And once again, Betsy Brilliant saves the day. And Captain Orange Beard and the other brave pirates set sail once again in search of treasure. The end. The Brave Pirate is my favourite book ever. I wouldn't have guessed. We've only read it about 50 times. That's not nearly enough. I want to read it a hundred times or a thousand. <laughs> and I'm sure we will. When I grow up, I want to be a pirate. Arr! And sail the seas as well. I think you'd make a wonderful pirate. I would be very brave, too. Land ahoy! OK, time for bed now. Even pirates need to sleep. Night-night. <sighs> oh, that's a big yawn, Sammy. Night-night. I'm feeling sleepy myself now. Oh, or maybe not. That sounds like a storm. Was that thunder? I think so. <gasps> it is! Sammy no like thunder. Don't be scared. It's just the sound of the sea as the brave pirates sail their ship looking for treasure. We are brave pirates. And this is our pirate ship. We have lots of treasure to find. It's time to set sail. Quick, Sammy, there's a big wave coming. Oh, uh -huh. something tells me we are going on an adventure. Aha, a pirate <laughs> adventure. Well done, Sammy. You're very brave. Ha ha, Maya and Sammy Go are taking on stormy seas. Abigail, not again. He's hungry enough to eat an encyclopedia.